A common issue when generating graphs is scaling. Now if you use a computer program like a Matplotlib on Python or Excel, the default is normally for your graph to be auto-scaled. What this means is the software will work out roughly the range in X and Y and pick a graph and axis that cover it more or less with a bit of spare room around the side. It's what it's done here. Now this is appropriate if you want to look at your data in the most detail. However, you can override the auto-scaling and if you're plotting by hand, you'll have to decide the scale yourself. In Python, what you do is you do the xlim or ylim commands to set the lowest and highest value of the x and y axes respectively. Now, if we go back to this graph, let's say this is showing the income of a company. And it seems to be climbing, that's all good news. And let's say a new manager took over here, and you might be wanting to know, did this new manager improve things? Then this is the right graph to look at, because you can see there seems to have been a change here. On the other hand, the fact that it's auto-scaled is concealing a lot as well. You look here, see it's ranging between 940 and 1080. That's not a very big range compared to the average value. If you plot it starting at zero here, what you can see is that yes, the company's getting bigger, but it's not a very big effect. The company in 2018 is not that different from the company in 2000. Whereas this graph, you'd think it was radically different. So often, auto-scaling is not appropriate because it gives you a misleading view of how much things are changing. It tends to overestimate the changes and pay less attention to the average value. And the average value is often more important than the changes. Another common problem with scaling happens when you're plotting data. We see a lot of graphs come in from experiments that look something like this. Now in this case, the scaling is just stupid. Presumably what's happened is people had to guess what axis scale to do and then they started taking data points and they found by the end they'd only used up a small fraction. This makes it very hard to see what's actually going on. When you're doing an experiment and you're plotting the data points, it is a very good idea to plot as you go what you might do is measure what you think is going to be the lowest, measure what you think is going to be the highest first to get some idea of the range. In this case, it looks like the range is going to be from 950 to 1100. And then zoom in on that range. Set your axes appropriately. So always try and make sure that your graph is going to fill most of the range, unless you've got a good reason, like here, for putting the axis at zero.